If you're a simp and you know it, clap your hands. If you're a simp and you know it, clap your hands. If you know you don't get coochie and you beg for the pussy. If you're a simp and you know it, clap your hands. I know half of y'all were clapping hands to that song. Yo, what is up guys? It's me, Kyle, back at it again with another video. As you may remember, I did a poll on what anime you guys would like me to do next. And to my surprise, you guys wanted me to do Rent a Girlfriend. Honestly, I thought you guys would have wanted SAO, but it seemed a huge majority of you wanted me to do Rent a Girlfriend. I have actually read the manga for Rent a Girlfriend, but I don't think I will be diving into it into this video. Because, you know, I don't want to spoil you anime watchers but like always before if you guys enjoy the content i produce and want to see more of it don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and turn on the bell notifications to know when a new video is out but without further ado here are my top five reasons on why rent a girlfriend is a simp anime <laughs> Number 5, New Style of Romance Now, the genre for this anime are romance, comedy, school, and shonen. But specifically, we're gonna be talking about romance in school. Now, let's just think through the mind of your level 1 weeb. If he slash she saw the romance in school tags, they would be like, Okay, this is your normal school romance love story where your protagonist is gonna be walking to school, then an abnormal girl, and then does some bullshit when she gets herself involved with the main character, look each other in the eyes, and realize it's fake. But, in Rent a Girlfriend, it's actually different. They decide to take a different route on the perspective of school romance. In Rent a Girlfriend, rather than having our MC start out as finding his destined partner, he was already in a relationship. That's already enough proof that this isn't your normal romance anime. Now, your level one we would also think oh he's in a relationship then this will surprisingly be just a romance anime where it's about the time they spent together well surprisingly it's not like that but i'll get into that later in the video number four an anime for sim now most of our men especially in this generation are sadly single and most of the men revolve around the weebs but then again all weebs want is just a hug is a hug too much to act? Now, in 2020, a new word came into our world. Probably started somewhere in New York, cause that's where everything starts. And this word sparked foul behavior towards men. The word I am speaking of is simp, of course. Now, in the words of my secretary, Deku Black, a simp is a man who gives anything up for the coochie. And ever since people, ever since, people sometimes refer to desperate men as simps. Now, some men simply don't give a damn if they're a simp. I mean, generally speaking, if someone feels bad that you're a simp, it would mean that they want to see you in a relationship. But life ain't that easy, man, and we all know that for sure. For all my simps out there in training, watch this anime. I don't care if you don't even like anime. If you want to be a professional simp, watch this anime and pay very close attention to what our protagonist, Kazuya Kinoshida, does. But just a heads up, if you're using this anime as a guide, I highly suggest you make sure you have a bank account of 1 million yen, or in US terms, around $10,000 in your bank account. Number 3, Girl Options. Now, as you may know, the difference between harem and romance is that in harem, the girls chase after the MC while in a romance, the MC and the love interest grow an intimate relationship with each other. Now in this anime, our MC has four girl options, actually, yeah, four girl options, but three are shown throughout the story. The first love interest we are shown is the MC's girlfriend, the blonde beauty, Mami Nanami. Next, we are shown the fan favorite girl of the show and the second main love interest, fan favorite, Chizuru Ichinose. Not soon after, we are introduced to the third love interest, a high school beauty by the name of Ruka Sarashina. And finally, Nearing the end of the first season, we are shown to our final love interest for the main character, the shy girl that must be protected at all costs, Sumi Sakurasawa. Now, being that I read the manga, I already know who the MC chooses as his love interest, and you know what? Fuck it, I'm gonna say it. The girl that the main character devotes his simple life to is... Number two, outside of high school life. Now, most romance anime, I mean like 95% of the romance anime, take place in a high school lifestyle. While in Rent a Girlfriend, we're actually moving away from the high school lifestyle and actually going into a college lifestyle. 
This can help the viewers experience what a college romance life is like. So instead of having to watch an anime where the only time the MC gets to see his love interest is in school, on the weekends, or even at each other's house, we get to see what a young adult MC's romance is like outside of the high school lifestyle and more into the adult lifestyle. Just like I said, if you're a simp, and especially in college, you might want to watch this anime for reference. It could be a big help. Number one, the storyline. I think for every anime review, the number one will always be the storyline. Now, like I said, Rent a Girlfriend's storyline is played in a very unique way. I will just give you a synopsis of what the story is basically about. At the beginning of the story, we are introduced to our simp protagonist, Kazuya Kinoshida, who is happily in a relationship with his girlfriend, Mami Nanami, or I would say. Being heartbroken by losing his first ever girlfriend and decides to spank to some good old Bocono Pico to relieve some tensions, he goes on his phone to an app where you can rent a girlfriend to go on a date with. He decided to be a true simp and go for the top rated girlfriend which was Chizuru Mizuhara. He goes on a date with her while hiding his little boner from the joy he was having on the date. After paying for the date, he decided to be a 30 year old mom and read the review for Chizuru. After reading the reviews and realizing that she does the same thing on every date, he gives her a bad rating. But our simp didn't stop there. He went on another date with Chizuru where a little bit after, there was a little scuffle between them. Chizuru turned off date mode and went into street mode giving Kazuya a piece of her mind about rating her bad. Cause that joke is horrible nigga, open your mouth. When you speak to me, speak with your chin up like it's picture day. Bitch ass boy and I fucked your mom long dick style. Stop playing me faggot ass boy, now I'm gonna cut the shit out of your faggot ass. Fuck is you talking about? You just got comboed by Marsky. Marsky Salarsky, bitch ass boy. You mad at shit cause I smacked your mom in the back of the neck with a piece of ham and that bitch turned into a ham sandwich. And started saying, gob, 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 gob. Unless she was a Thanksgiving chicken, faggot bitch. She's not a fucking turkey, she's a fucking chicken. Faggot boy, shut your bitch ass up. Your mom is allergic to chickens. Your mom has sex with this kid and Arnold Schwarzenegger behind the Toy Story Pizza Planet truck yelling, yeah, get to the pizza! Yeah! And a fucking pepperoni slipped up her ass and she puked out a fucking bugger. <laughs> bitch ass boy, shut your bitch ass up. What did you talk about? You just got comboed. Open your mouth. Bitch ass boy, long dick style. Sadly, while Chizuru was giving Kazuya the Jamaican parent treatment, he finds out that his grandmother collapsed. Yeah? Hmm. Hello? I've fallen and I can't get up. While arriving at the hospital, he finds out his grandmother is already perfectly fine and gets questioned on who the beautiful girl might be. With no other choice, Kazuya announces that they are lovers, which forces Chizuru to play the role as well. Unknown to the circumstances, Kazuya and Chizuru are forced to play roles as boyfriend and girlfriend, and but as their relationship moves forward, problems arrive as well. Leaving the question, how long can Chizuru and Kazuya keep up this act? Well, what do you guys think? After watching this video, will you go watch Rent a Girlfriend? I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.